Hello, my name is Ademi for Clueless Junkie and in this video I'll try to break the building process down into stages the best way I possibly can to show one of the many ways in which a house could be built. So for the stage one, it covers the substructural part of the house, basically what's underneath the house, the, the foundation of the house. So the stage one is about setting the building out on ground which is about establishing setbacks, establishing trench parts and trench lines, um, basically the perimeter of the house, parts where each wall will follow. And once the lines have been drawn during the testing out like so, the and each wall on the building plan has been well established on ground, what follows is marking these lines, portions of the lines where the building, where you have building walls, marking them out and proceeding with having such parts excavated. And the excavation, on the excavation, the, the thickness of the trenches and the depth is usually, can usually be gotten from the structural drawing if they be one and the desired depth is usually stated in the structural drawing and once that's done the 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 column basis will be dug as well and the thickness the and the depth is usually is usually a bit different from the actual trench after which the blind of the column base is done the mod mat is just to provide a clean level surface for the column and its base to sit on in preparation for the actual casting proper and um, once the light blinding has been done the concrete blinding on all the column bases like so usually two inches thick then the columns are mounted properly on points where they are as stipulated in the structural drawing what to look out for at this stage is to make sure that the array of columns are exactly as they are on the structural drawing it's really a bad idea to miss it at this point and once that's been done and checked and double checked what follows is the casting proper the foundation footing casting so the proper mixture of the concrete for casting will be done and poured like so and properly supervised it's the base of the house it's what carries the house so proper supervision is necessary at this stage is imperative at this stage and you want to make sure that the columns do not go out of point during the casting which is where the supervision comes in so as soon as the footings have been properly casted and cured and allowed to properly set yeah the what follows is forming the foundation walls and it's forming the house out of the pit and um, the thing to look out for at this point is to make sure that at every juncture the angles the walls meet are correspond the angles the walls made correspond to what's on the building plan it's really a bad idea to miss it so once that's been done and properly supervised properly taken care of the next thing that follows is building the foundation wall up to the desired level which is usually a level above the natural ground level and um, want to make sure that the quality of the materials used at this stage are up to par and um, as soon as the level is reached for the building plan the starter columns are boarded usually a carpenter does that 
and in preparation for having the columns casted alongside the block holes. To do this is in an attempt to solidify the base of the house. Uh, after that has been done and allowed to set, what follows is usually backfilling with latrite or or desired soil. So the backfilling is usually just moving latrites, making sure all the room spaces are covered, all the trench are properly backfilled, and after that has been done to aid compaction of the backfield areas it's it's usually recommended to have the backfield spaces water jetted as have them properly watered so the latrite the backfield saw settles properly after which the backfield spaces can be properly compacted with a roller machine or a rama, uh, the compaction helps to facilitate the settling of the latrite. So what follows is um, the damp-proof membrane. It's usually best best to put the damp-proof membrane, which is a nylon, underneath the hardcore stones. So once that has been done the perimeter of the building plan can be boarded to the appropriate thickness or desired thickness of the oversized concrete. Usually a BRC wire mesh can be placed above the art core to further add to the solidity of the floor after which the floor is then properly casted with an appropriate mixture of concrete and that's that about the substructural part of the house the oversized concrete or German floor this usually takes days and um, if properly done goes a long way to have a solid building so the next stage is about building the ground floor of the house on top of the substructural part. This involves forming the block works and making sure that each individual wall corresponds to what's on the building design. And once that's been done, once it's been properly formed, then building the block work to the appropriate levels follow. After which the windows and doors and archways and such are established can have the lintel beams boarded and the extension columns as well boarded in preparation for having them casted with the appropriate mix of concrete. And once that's been done, the stripping of the casted columns and lintel beams follows to allow the the casted columns to properly set, after which the leveling is done. Additional block courses of blocks are placed to get the appropriate or desired headroom for the house. As soon as a uh, desired level for the headroom on the ground floor has been achieved, what usually follows is the formwork for the suspended floor. This formwork um, is usually done, can be done with planks and wood like so. In most cases, oftentimes it can be done with planks like this or construction boards, really and uh, the beams for the suspended floor is tied by the iron by iron benders you can lay the damp proof a damp proof membrane and then the iron works proper is done on the floor these reinforcements usually require a lot of supervision and they require to be properly supervised by the appropriate professionals engineers most especially to make sure that they are according to specification according to what has been designed on the structural drawing for the house and as soon as the iron assemblage has been done the building services electrical conduits pipings for plumbings and waste pipes are done as shown like so 
after which the flour is prepared for casting and the appropriate mix is poured over the assemblage like so to achieve a level floor surface like so and once is that has been done and allowed to cure for days what usually follows most often time could be a repetition of what happened on the ground floor and some other times not so at the stage three is about working on the suspended floor slab once it has been allowed to set and cure for appropriate number of days at this point the forming of the room spaces commences sometimes it's a repetition of what happened down and some other times it's not so once the room spaces have been formed the block work is done and um, the windows are established windows and doors and archways are established where necessary or according to what's on the building design and once that has been done the boarding for the extension columns and lintel beams takes place uh, with supervision at it to prepare for the casting of it of the lintel beams and concrete columns then the next point after the levels the final level has been achieved for the headroom of the suspended floor the ironwork for the concrete corners commences and the links look sometimes this way um, we have iron reinforcement being done like so well before the iron reinforcement are placed the formwork wood formwork is done usually according to the shape of the corners on the design and then properly casted with the appropriate mix of concrete so at the stage four is uh, about roofing the house is about putting roof trusses timber wood truss like so um, having the appropriate or desired height of roof making sure that each rafter and the wood are properly the wood trusses are properly supported and properly placed and well nailed to prepare a clean level for the roof sheet to be placed when that's been finally achieved what commences is the what follows is the roof installation in this case the shingles can be installed like so colors could be will be at your discretion the choice of colors at your discretion like so and alongside as this is being done other works like plastering the house or windows installations doors installations generally finishes for the house screening and tiling and all that it can be ongoing and um, that wraps it up for this video so thank you for watching i hope you found this video useful a bit informative please subscribe to my channel and stay safe